Hello guys and welcome to the review of the biggest Xiaomi phone Mi Max 2 which is just gorgeous. So let's take a closer look on it and see why it is so amazing. Let's go! The phone is made from aluminium. Build quality is excellent. The edge is around it and I consider it as a disadvantage as the phone feels pretty slippery in hands, so you should keep it firmly not to make it fall out of your hands. The thickness of the phone is just 7.6 mm. At the bottom there is a Type-C port and little holes for dynamic. Below the screen there are three touch-sensitive buttons. The phone can work either with one nano SIM card and one micro SIM card, or with one nano SIM card and one micro SD memory card. The phone has 6.44 inches Full HD IPS screen, which is just gorgeous. The screen is really bright, viewing angles are awesome. The phone has 64GB of internal memory and user has 54GB available. There is also a version with 128GB of internal memory. Fingerprint sensor reacts immediately and works flawlessly. The phone has octa-core processor Qualcomm Snapdragon 625, which copes pretty well with almost any resource-intensive game. In addition, users will enjoy playing on such a big screen. Here you may see some benchmark results. The phone has 5 megapixels front camera and 12 megapixels rear camera. What I like is that the rear camera doesn't stick out of the phone body, so that it may not get scratched easily. There are a lot of different settings, including time lapse and slow motion. In addition, you can shoot photos in RAW if your phone is rooted. Here you may see some photo and video samples. In my opinion, the quality is pretty good. The phone is equipped with 5300 mAh internal battery and it is one of the biggest advantages of the phone. It can work for more than 3 days of average use or 2 days of intense use. It takes 3 hours to get the battery charged. So, to sum up, I can say with confidence that for the moment it is the best tablet on the market. Among the main advantages I can enumerate excellent build quality, gorgeous screen, amazing battery life, very good sound quality, flawless work of fingerprint sensor, big amount of internal memory and good performance. The only thing I don't like very much is rounded edges, as the phone feels pretty slippery in hands. 
So if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you soon.